hi guys and welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to make limoncello tiramisu it is full of lemon flavor first of all the cookies are soaked in limoncello syrup and the cream has lemon curd in it i am telling you tiramisu is probably one of my favorite desserts tiramisu means pick me up in italian it was modified to tiramisu as a dessert in 20th century, but the dessert itself originated in Treviso, Italy. We're gonna start by making egg custard since it needs time to cool and set. For the egg custard, we're gonna need only egg yolks and let me show you how I've been separating the eggs lately. You're gonna need three small containers with the middle one where we drop the egg and look how cute these eggs are they have chickens on them stamped and two other containers in one we're gonna drop the egg yolk and the other one we're gonna drop the egg white and the eggs have to be kept at room temperature so you're gonna drop the egg in the middle container take the spoon fish out the egg yolk then put the egg yolks in one container and the egg whites in another container and let's say you broke the egg yolk at least you know the whole batch is safe and from that one you'll just make an omelet so you'll have your egg yolks and your egg whites the egg whites you could use for meringue for egg custard you will need six egg yolks and one cup of granulated sugar we're gonna place it in a heat resistant bowl and the one that will fit exactly into a pot filled with boiling water and this method is called um, double boiler or bain marie and we're gonna cook our eggs on the bain marie whisking them constantly uh, until they reach this creamy white consistency and then um, you can test it and see if the sugar has dissolved and at this point we're gonna stop this method will stabilize the eggs and also heat them up so they are safe to be consumed then we need to cover egg custard with plastic wrap in the contact like you see in the video and refrigerate it for one hour until it cools down in the meantime let's make a soaking syrup for our ladyfinger cookies we need one cup of a granulated sugar and a zest from one lemon and be careful when you remove those the zest from the lemon make sure you don't get any white um, um, in it and then we're gonna use the lemon to extract the lemon juice from it we're gonna need about three tablespoons of lemon juice in that soaking syrup and also i'm gonna use another lemon to um, remove the zest from uh, but using the zester because we're gonna need that zest for the cream also we also gonna need one cup of limoncello which is italian lemon liqueur that we're gonna pour into our soaking uh, syrup after it's been um, cooked and half a cup of water and that's pretty much it we're just gonna place the water the sugar and the lemon zest on the stove after it starts to boil i like to cook it for a couple minutes to get the most flavor out of the lemon zest and after that we're just gonna pour our limoncello then you need to strain it and set it in the fridge to cool since all of our components are ready we're gonna start making the cream for tiramisu we're gonna need two 225 gram packages of mascarpone cheese which is 450 grams that we're gonna place in a large mixing bowl and give it a mix with electric mixer just to make it a little bit creamier then as you can see our custard is set and cooled down and safe to pour into our mascarpone cheese now we're gonna put all the custard inside and give it a quick mix with electric mixer until everything is combined and creamy 
and here goes our zest from one lemon and half a cup of lemon curd just for extra lemony flavor and the other half a cup we're gonna save for decoration then we're gonna give it a quick mix with electric mixer and start whipping the cream we need a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream that we're gonna start whipping um, when the high uh, speed until it reaches the stiff peaks then we're gonna put the cream in our custard base and by turning the spatula we're gonna slowly incorporate the whipped cream into our custard base to get this nice smooth and glossy consistency let's assemble our tiramisu we're gonna need 400 grams of lady fingers we will pour our soaking syrup in a smaller container where we're gonna be dipping the cookies and laying them into this container uh, it took me a while to find this one <laughs> the size of it is just perfect to lay 24 cookies in two layers without cutting them of course it's gonna make you a lot of tiramisu but I'm sure you could use it so we're gonna dip the cookies in our soaking syrup we're just gonna lay them out on the bottom of this container then visually divide our cream in half we're gonna put one half on the first layer of cookies and make sure they're all covered then we're gonna repeat the process by dipping the cookies into the soap soaking syrup and laying the second row of cookies and put the rest of the cream on top and also smooth it out but this layer we're gonna make it super smooth because that's where we're gonna start decorating and then just to take your time to make the surface of the top layer extra smooth for decoration we're gonna whip one cup of heavy cream with two tablespoons of icing sugar until the stiff peaks and we're gonna place it in the piping bag uh, with the a star attachment and we're gonna pipe all the little rosettes around um, on the perimeter of the cake and then using the leftover lemon curd we're just gonna draw some lines on the cake and look at this guys <laughs> I found the dots I mean the, the the forgotten dots and of course there's a whole bunch of them inside but I wanted to take out only the yellow ones which I had to dump the whole package out and find the yellow ones which were not that many then we're gonna pu put a little bit of fresh raspberries around and the some leaves and then by the way I am using not mint leaves i'm using lemon basil leaves which i think they're gonna go perfectly with the lemon flavor of the cake you need to let your tiramisu sit in the fridge overnight until you cut a piece and enjoy and this is heaven trust me i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon